understanding Eric Ten Hag's Ajax tactics. Eric Ten Hag is the current manager of Ajax Football Club and over the past few weeks he's been heavily looked at by Barcelona and Manchester United for their managerial roles. But just how good is Eric Ten Hag? Eric Ten Hag became Ajax's manager in 2017 and has since won five trophies domestically. But it's not the trophies that make Ten Hag stand out from the crowd. It's his style of football. Eric Ten Hag plays a very vertical tiki-taka style of play with high chance creation and a heavy influence on total football using overloads, positional play and wing play. You could argue that Ten Hag's football is heavily influenced by Johan Cruyff but modernised for today's game. Eric Ten Hag usually sets up in a 4-2-3-1 or a 4-3-3. Ajax build up patiently from the back using two centre-halves and a pivot either attaching onto the end or dropping between the two centre-halves to create a triangle. This then engages in a variety of interchanges between them as well as rotating positionally to help build and break the initial first press. In Ajax's famous Champions League run in 2019, Ten Hag used a 3-3-1-3 when building out in possession, but has since adapted to today's counter-attacking football and gone with the 3-2-5 which we commonly see in today's game. Although Eric Ten Hag's Ajax can be very patient in build-up, there's a sense of purpose about them in the final third, looking to create high-quality chances very quickly through direct and intricate passing. They look to heavily use underlaps and third-man runs to create high XG cutback chances, which is shown beautifully in Dusan Tadic's goal versus Bayern Munich in the Champions League. Out of possession, Ten Hag's Ajax is actually one of the best pressing teams in Europe, using a man-to-man system, and this is shown across the past three Champions League campaigns, Ten Hag's Ajax have ranked in the top two for successful pressure rate, with their average being 29.4 and their best rate over the three campaigns being 35.6, second to only Liverpool in that time. Something that's quite overlooked about Eric Ten Hag is his unbelievable adaptability. This is shown from his tweaks in systematical and structural changes to suit different personnel after losing a lot of key players prior to his 2019 season. In 2019, he actually used Dusan Tadic as a false nine, using Donny van der Beek as a 10 who would push up into the space that Dusan Tadic would make for him. Ajax's approach to get the ball into dangerous areas is incredibly successful. The majority of their goals come from inside the box. They averaged 39.88 touches in the box last season in the Eredivisie. And to put this into context, that is 13 more than the second highest team in the league, AZ Alkmaar. There's a lot of talk recently about who's going to be the next Jurgen Klopp, who's going to be the next Pep Guardiola. And from what I've seen from Eric Ten Hag, he is definitely on the pathway to match their level, with him being the perfect fit for both Manchester City and Barcelona. But personally, I would love to see him at Manchester United and adopt a long-term project at the club. But he fits like a glove to Manchester City and Barcelona. And if you want to see more content like this on a more frequent basis, please do not forget to drop my Twitter a follow.